Hello and welcome, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Bitwig Studio 2, and this is um, the modulators course. And in this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at the four stage, four stage modulator. So let's take a look at this guy in action, see what we can come up with, and see what kind of cool settings and uh, features it has. Back over to Bitwig. So I've got a little instance of uh, Serum some basic chords here. Let's take a listen. Dry before we do anything. All right, cool. So let's see what kind of craziness we can get into. So to open up on our modulators, first of all, you're usually going to see it like this when you bring in your plug-in or if it's an internal Bitwig uh, instrument. But you get down here to the little um, arrow symbol, show modulators, click on that guy, and then it gives us some kind of plus signs here to add our modulators. So we click this guy, and voila, there's our list of modulators. So we're going to go with the four stage. Okay, so it shows it in action for us already. Now it's not going to really do anything. We, if we want to assign it, we click this little guy again, and we assign it to whatever parameter we want. So Let's just do something for the sake of a tutorial that's super easy. I'll wiggle the cutoff knob a little bit here to get it uh, to show up on top. And we will assign it to the filter cutoff. And let's open it up. Click the arrow, open it up. Now we've got a closer look at it. We can see it's already working the filter cutoff. Let's hear what it's doing for us right now. You can hear a little bit of a change there. So we've got some uh, parameters here or some adjustments for stage because we've got one, two, three, four. So what we can do is we can loop this. Essentially, that's what it's doing. It's coming over to three where this line is here and it's starting over. It's basically just looping through there. And where, where you set that loop determination is on this um, little guy right here. Click here and you got one, two, three, or four. And that's where the loop will start over, wherever you select. So let's select two. See how it jumps over to two? Now the loop's just going to go one and two. We can move this down just by grabbing and clicking and holding. Move it down. We can move this guy in and out. We can move the zero up and down. You can also dial them in down here if you don't want to grab the actual device itself and then you've got left and right right here for length and you've got your beats and sync you know how you sync it if you want it by beats or if you want it by um the uh, seconds so we'll leave it on I believe it's on beats right there yeah all right so let's hear We've got this guy here. This is like a depth control or an amount control on how far things are going to go one way or the other. So if I move this up here a little bit, you'll see when I bring it down, it just kind of goes the other way. So it's kind of like control negative or positive there. We'll leave it up here for now. And I'll just uh, play the sound and kind of goof around with some of the parameters to give you an idea what, what we're capable, what it's capable of doing for us. see if we can find a different parameter. I'm going to clear this one out and see if we can't find a uh, different parameter to uh, find a little bit better action with. So let's go into Serum 
let's see what's in the effects. What do we got? I got a delay and a reverb. Let me try delay. Maybe that'll be more obvious. So I'll wiggle that guy. Yeah, there we got delay. So let's give it an assignment to delay. Might be a little bit more obvious here for the sake of a tutorial. So by clicking this guy here, I was able to uh, tell it to go below the zero crossing or above. So now it goes down and up. And you can dial that in by setting your numbers. So but let's go in to see what we get with the delay now. So hopefully that gives you some really cool ideas. The really cool thing about this guy is the loop segment, the loop feature, the fact that you can set that loop and dial it in. You can't, at least I'm not seeing it, but you can't really make curved shapes with these lines. They're pretty much linear and they're straight, straight to the point there. They're really not set up to allow any curve element to them, but I know some of the other modulators have those features, but that is a quick um, rundown and quick look at the four stage modulator. So let's move on to the next tutorial and see what else we can discover with um, more modulators within Bitwig Studio 2. All right, see you in the next tutorial. Peace.